Using templates is one of the quickest ways to get a website built, but I really don't like using a set of templates that somebody else created. However, if I could create my own library of patterns, that's exactly what I would need in my builds. In this video, we're gonna take a look at Generate Blocks Local Patterns, and that's exactly what you do with this feature. You're able to create patterns from your own website that you can use across the entire website. You can use local patterns to create, save, and then deploy entire sections or even full pages across your website rapidly. It's a great way to get the most out of Generate Blocks. So let's take a look at how it's done. Let's say you got this page hero all set up and ready to go. This includes a container with a background image and a gradient overlay, a big heading, some text, and a button. And you've already gone through and made sure that it looks great responsively across all device sizes. Now, of course, you're gonna wanna use this heading again throughout other parts of your website, but having to go back to this page and copy and paste it from one page to another gets to be a little tiresome. So that's exactly where local patterns come into play. So what we're gonna do is select this outer container and copy it. We'll go to Generate Blocks, Local Patterns, and we'll add new. We'll call this Page Hero, and we'll paste in our Hero section. Now we can go ahead and hit Publish, and our local pattern is published and ready to insert on any page. To show you this, we'll just go to Pages, Add New, and in here for the new block, we'll search for pattern. You can see this pattern library block is right here. We'll go ahead and click on it and click on local patterns. And you can see our page hero we just created is right here. If we go ahead and click on that, just like that, it inserts that into our new page. Now, it is not linked to the original install like a global style is, so you're welcome to change the background image, the colors, or any of the content within. It just gives you the template starting place to get started. Now, one thing you might've noticed is when we went to go enter this pattern, imagine if you had a lot of these. It'd be hard to tell just by the name alone exactly what this is, but that's an easy fix. There's a built-in way to be able to put a thumbnail of each of your local patterns right in this screen. So we'll go ahead and publish this and we'll jump back to our local pattern section. I'm gonna edit our page hero again and I'm gonna open my snipping tool to go ahead and take a screenshot of this section. It doesn't have to be perfect, just something to give you the idea. And we'll go ahead and save this as page hero. Now inside of our local pattern, we'll go to featured image and set featured image and we can upload the page hero that we just saved and set that as our featured image. Now, if we hit update and go back to our page we're building and hit open pattern library, local patterns, we can now see the preview thumbnail here of exactly what we're entering. So this is a great way to create an entire library of already pre-built sections for your website. I find that so many times we're reusing the same layouts over and over again and this makes it really easy to rapidly build out multiple pages of your website using the same base templates. I've gotten myself in the habit of taking some of the most popular layouts throughout a website and saving them as local patterns for my clients to use later on down the line. If they need to build out new sections or new pages on their website, they can use that local pattern library to go ahead and build out the things they need, but keep all the design consistency in place. In fact, I've used this as a selling point to some of my clients to let them know that they would have a library of templates to choose from that perfectly match their website. It only takes a few minutes to do, and it really gives some added value to your customers so that they know their website can be easily maintained into the future. If you wanna take this a step further, you can actually use blocks that are using global styles inside of your local patterns. This means that when you make changes to those global styles, it will reflect not only in that pattern itself, but everywhere that pattern was used. This gives you so much more consistency and makes it easier to maintain your websites in the long run. If you're not used to using global styles or haven't checked those out yet, I got a video popping up right now that'll show you exactly how to use those. 